Welcome to this new video, splitting PBIX file to data set and later. So this is about separating the model from the report in Power BI desktop and then using that model in the report in the service time. So the benefit of it is that the report can be isolated from the model and rather than creating a data set from scratch, you can use this data set for different types of reports. You can create multiple reports with same data set. So this is the process in which it is being done. We have a PBIX file, Power BI file, and in the service, it will be saved differently. Like you will be getting the data set differently from the service time, the, the time of service, and it will be like most alike connection to the Power BI report. So the greatest advantage of this is that the, the model can be isolated and the model can serve more than one report. You can, instead of creating a data set from the scratch, you can use the same data set for different. The process doing this is that, of course, we are having a report right now. And in this report, of course, you can see the this is a Power BI desktop and you are having the report. You can have the data and we have the model tabs. So first thing we need to do is that we need to publish this report to the service and you need to delete the report. As soon as you publish the report to the service, you need to keep the data set there and delete the report from there. So we can do the same thing. We can publish the report to the service and you need to save the report first and then you are going to survey, publish the report to this Broraj intelligence. So the publishing got success and we will check the OBS service, how it has been shown in the so we will go to the workspaces and in the workspaces we have bro raj intelligence and we will go and here we can see in the left hand side we have a data set and we have the we have this data set here and we have the report here so we need only the data so we don't need the report so what we can do is that we can right click here in this dots and you can delete the report so we now we are having only the data set in the workspace so the report got deleted now we have only the data set so now let it be like this and now we'll go back to our power bi desktop so in this power bi desktop now of course it has been connected to the data set now we need to delete the model from this report and we need to connect to the model which we have uploaded to the data service so we need to connect to this model instead of having this model here so we need to delete this model and directly from this report. So what we can do is that you can go to the transform data and we can delete each and every table and each and every function in this report. So we will delete all the tables, whatever is there in the transformation and whatever is there with respect to the modeling, we are going to delete it. Why we are deleting it is because in the Power BI service, we are already having the model. So we will delete everything and we will close and apply. Now, if you check, you are not seeing any of the visuals in this report and we don't have any data also so right now now we need to connect this report to the data set which is there in this obvious so this pbix data set we need to get connected to this report so for that we can go to get data and how get data from power bi data set so we have already saved this data set in the service so since we don't have any data set here we can get the data from power bi data set and we can select here the recent data sets which we have used and of course this data set of split pbis is there you can select that and you can create it now of course we got our report back and all the visuals back but at the same time we are not having the model tab here that is because this is acting like a live data set so in this way it has been separated from the data set with respect to the report now the data set we are using is this data set and this data set we can use other reports also like you can get the data and you can use the same procedure get the data from this data set and you can create other reports also without any change in the model so in this way you can split the power bi file into data set and you can do a lean report. now if you, you can publish the same thing you can save and you can publish the same thing you can publish the same thing in a different file also in the in a different workspace also so even if you are publishing in the different workspace this split data set will be always there in this current workspace so that you can use the split pbix data set to other report generation now if you check the report you can see the same thing here and we got the report here but still the model is not there because the model is almost like a live connection which we have connected from the data set which is there in the service so in this way we can split a Power BI file into a report and into data set. Hope this will be useful for you. Have a nice day.